Good morning, Gators. This is Miss Vicknair streaming to you live from my house. And I'm sure you are viewing live from your house. This is my second episode of our Mindful Minute. Last week, we talked about choosing your attitude. And how did you do last week? Were you pretty positive? Did you stay happy? Or were you frustrated? Are you ready to be back at school yet? I know I definitely am ready to get back to school and to see your smiling faces. But in the meantime, I think it's important that we all recognize that some days go really well for us and some days are just completely frustrating. So I wanted to bring to you a tool that I thought might be helpful to you. This is a feeling thermometer. And some of you may recognize something like this from my office. I have a big poster like this hanging up in my office and I use it quite a bit with you guys. So the way this tool works is it goes from zero to 100. Zero is our calm, happy, content, peaceful place and 100 is our angry, infuriated, kind of out of control. So the way this works is it's a great opportunity for you to practice self-awareness. And why is that important? You know, our days are really, really busy normally. We're filled with many activities and lots of hectic schedules. And sometimes we don't always get to put a name with our feelings or even figure out how to handle all these big emotions that we have. So now is a wonderful opportunity for you to start becoming more self-aware. How are you doing? Can you check in with yourself? Maybe you're at a 20. Maybe you're at a 75. The wonderful thing about this tool is that you can go up and down throughout the day. Just in one day's time, I can go up to 25, maybe I hit 80, then I'm back down to 30. It's not so much that I get up into my red zone, but it's how I get back down into my calm zone. So hopefully you take this opportunity to kind of check in with yourself. You can easily create one of these at home, or if you'd like me to email one to your parents, I can easily do that as well. If you've noticed, I've filled one out already a little bit. Not only have I put the feeling words there to help you recognize how are you feeling, but I also added some little clues that maybe let me know where I'm at. Maybe my heart's beating fast. Maybe my palms are sweating. Another idea is you can also add things that help you stay in the calm zone. Maybe in that green zone, I want to add, go ride my bike or play some basketball or listen to some music. Those are the things that help keep me calm and peaceful. So this is your mindful minute from Miss Vicknair. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.